day one, Tom Segura starting comedy, what advice would you give yourself that day? Oh my day? God. Man, stop eating so much at night. <laughs> <laughs> I was born ready for this. You guys ready? I'm gonna show you my crib. Pásele, 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 con todo, con todo. That's magic right there. Oh. I'm about to make you the best adobada taco in America, dog. I'm gonna make this taco fly for you, homie. You ain't never seen no tacos fly. But where you at, Bert? I wanna feed you. Where you at, Joe Rogan? Where you at, Joey Diaz? I'm the greatest taquero of all time. Boom. Ain't no one better. I'm the greatest. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Tacos Con Todo, the season finale. This episode is special because we got Tom Segura and Christina P, the JD and Beyonce of the comedy world. I'm gonna curate a nice date night. I'm gonna take them out to some of the best taco spots in LA. What's more romantic than a taco spot, a trompo, having the taquero pull up all the stops just to reinvigorate, re-spark the love. And I'm here, what better place than Tacos 1986 to have some of the best, world-class, world-famous Al Pastor tacos yo, this yo, city yo, has yo, to yo, offer. Yo, 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 ain't no Al Pastor in this house, man. Only Adobada Tacos. That's what I'm talking about. Taquero Millonario, 1986. Season finale. Let's go. Tacos con what? Con todo, jefe. Pinche bola de fresas. Los amo. Well, hey guys, we're we're here. I'm fans of of you both, and you guys have a podcast together. You guys are raising a family. When was the last time you guys went on a date? Exactly. So like, I'm here yeah. to take you guys out on Aww. a date night. Nice. So what was the first date night spot like for you guys? When did we go? Well, the first one, we went to a bar. And back then, she was like, oh, I know this bar that you can still smoke cigarettes in. <laughs> oh, I was fun. like, OK. I didn't smoke at the time, but I was like, I guess this lot lizard does. <laughs> 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 so. Because well, originally, he wanted to go for a hike. Yeah, he, he goes, did. do you want to hike Runyon? Wait, and I was, I yeah, yeah. yeah. That's why I was like, no. I thought nah. it was like a good LA day. Like, oh, yeah. we want to hike. Right. What do you think about a taqueria that makes it so special? Like, do you oh. think do you think it's a good or a bad place to have a first date night? First this is, date? This, no. I think this is dope for a date. I love a place that d specializes in one, one yeah. thing. One thing. That's you go true. to uh, restaurants that have like a, a menu that folds out four times. Right, pages. And then there's yeah. like Italian uh -huh. food and Mexican food, Greek food. You're like, what the fuck do you guys do? Pick something. Right, you right, know? right. So like, I love that it's one thing and you just do it really, really well. Right. It's something just romantic. I mean, look at that, uh, that trompo spinning. <laughs> Like an abstract heart and a guy flexing and kissing at or something. Yeah, That's romantic. Yeah. Prettiest taquero alive. Hey, taco millonario. Oh, James, look at that. High and tight, baby. High and Little, tight. The Floyd Mayweather of uh, The number uh, one pound for pound. There we go. <laughs> the Conor McGregor, the like, Muhammad Ali. <laughs> ain't no one better. Bro, man. I'm the greatest. See, and that's another sign of a great taqueria. There has to be someone at the helm that's got a big personality. Are you guys Thank hungry? You. Hell yeah. Very. All right, let's get some food going. I'm already going. working, champ of the world. <laughs> He said that meat's fat and sweaty like Bert. <laughs> <laughs> oh, food's oh, coming. Hey! Two, two other bada quesadillas Bro. right here. Tell me, can you tell me so, what's up, what I'm getting right here? You got Walk us a through handmade it. tortilla with Ooh. cheese a la plancha, which makes it a quesadilla with adobada, onion, cilantro, guacamole, and salsa. Ooh, you got that juice dripping down. That's how you know it's what good. What do you think? Good, bro. What do you think? It shit goes hard, right? Taquero Millonario, yeah, the Freddy Mercury so of the taco game, the Whoa. Conor McGregor of it all. And we got uh, off the menu item here. This one's not on the menu. It's called El Perron. This one's El Perrito because it has no beans. As my man uh, Joey Diaz likes to say, fuck the points. Fuck the points. Yes. We're going deep today. You've been at Taquero now for how long? Uh, 10 years. 10 years, and I and I feel like there's a lot of similarities between what taqueros do and what comedians do. Mm. It's like early on, I remember standing outside trying to pass out oh. flyers, getting people inside. Most of Your early days were outside barking, trying to get people in. From that first day, it was just like trying to get attention. And I just started posing, and I'm the greatest, and throwing kisses, and ain't no, <laughs> ain't no other taquero out there better than me. Like, I went the Muhammad Ali route, you know? Yeah. Like, I figured I had to yeah, make noise bro. all the time. You were talking shit, but you were backing it up. Exactly, right. exactly. Wait, I'm about to do this first bite here. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let me get this. 
This is so good. Double look mind. at him, look at him, bro. His eyes are rolling back, bro. It's <laughs> a dream come true, dog. <laughs> Como las huevas. Como las huevas. Como las huevas. Hey, déjame le hago un taco peruano. También soy el mejor jefe. Eh? El mejor. <laughs> pound for pound, libra por libra. Like, what's your version of a, of like a heckler? A heckler is yeah. a guy that's like, we're busy, uh -huh. and the guy's like, hey, where's my food? And I have to be like, hey, homie, you didn't get a kiss from your girl today or what? You know, like, <laughs> you, you so, one. Yeah. yeah, like, I put the pressure on here, you know, like, you don't pressure me. I used to work at a restaurant on Sunset back in the day, and like, sometimes dudes would come in and be like, hey, man, hey, not like that, and would try to walk back into the kitchen, you know? And tell you walk. how to make the thing? Yeah, or? they'd be like, hey, man, you're like, dude, you, gotta, you can't be back, what are you doing? <laughs> and they're like, no, I can tell you how to make Never it. Never like, no. in my life will I Did you ever work happen. in the restaurant business? Tons. Yeah? Yes. I worked mm. at a fancy French restaurant, and I had to learn how to open bottles of wine, yeah, and hilarious. Russians used to always come, and they always wanted Long Island iced tea, Long Island iced tea. <laughs> <laughs> and then they'd bring their own vodka and leave the bottles in the bushes and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but waiting tables and serving the public really teaches you about human Humanity and makes you humble as fuck. Hey man, thank you so oh, much. My pleasure, Appreciate champ of the world. You, no, 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 thank this you. This is Takeda Millionario. Thank man. you so much. And numero uno. <laughs> he does this too. It's the the whole thing. What'd you guys think? Amazing. Unreal. Amazing. No, it's, it's seriously unreal. It's yeah. unreal, right? Unreal. Yeah. The tortilla cool. is so perfect and the inside, everything's perfect. I mean, look, a podcast almost 10 years. You guys have been together a long time. It seems like you guys know each other pretty well. Mm. I want to see how well you guys know each other. Are you guys down to play a game? Yay! Yes. Like yeah? the okay. game? Cue the echo sound. How well do you know your partner? The game. Okay. All right, here we go. I know Question, yours. You Question don't. number one is what's your secret guilty pleasure that people don't know about? That's question okay, number one. I know yours. I know yours. I know okay. yours. Okay. What's your guess? Yours is the melted cheese on a plate. God damn it! Yes? Is it? No! What? Teen movies to all the boys I've loved before. I like teenage no, what crab. What the fuck are you teenage talking about? Yeah, you, know you don't melt like, cheese on a plate. I melt cheese on a plate. That's not a guilty pleasure. That's gross things I eat when no one's looking. No, that's a guilty pleasure. <laughs> that's exactly what all right, that is. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so I'm going to guess your guilty pleasure. Shitty music, like Forever 21 music that I make fun of you for. <laughs> you didn't get it. God damn it. <laughs> your answer is? Oh, Saka Souffle. Saka Souffle. Oh, for one. All right, you're watching porn. What are your top three key words in the search bar? Oh, you know mine. We just talked about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, wait. But I don't know yours. Yes, you do. Okay, okay. I don't know the third. We should have made it top ten. <laughs> <laughs> Tacos con todo. Okay, this is good. Okay, <laughs> do we got our answers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Christina. Okay. Blondes. Ding. Feet. Yeah. Double ding. Blowjob? Yeah, that's great. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. Heck yeah. <laughs> Wait till this one, though. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so Tom, what are the three key words that she's okay. putting in the search bar? Ready? <laughs> yeah, ready. <laughs> Gang bang. Gang bang. Is that true, Christina? <laughs> Ding. Uh, black. Yes. Wearing masks. Not <laughs> wearing masks. <laughs> yes. What's the masks? You said you want them in masks. I was kidding. Oh, oh okay. So he right kind of got it. First two. Ding, ding. All right, man. Well, hey, what do you guys say we chase these tacos down yes. with yes. some more tacos? Yes. yes. You guys down? Very All right. down. Let's go hit another spot. Bye, Jorge. Gracias. Jorge. Thank you for coming. It's a dream come true. Portese bien. Hey, igualmente, patrón. El olor de la gasolina. Yo no soy Anita, pero soy tu medicina. Boom, boom. Okay. So if you guys had a taco spot, right? You guys are about to open up your taco restaurant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What would you call it and what kind of tacos do you uh, dropping over there? Oh, jeans tacos, right? Tacos Ooh, really con jeans. Tacos, tacos con jeans. Taqueria denim. Yeah. <laughs> mezclilla. Mezclilla. Mezclilla tacos. Uh, what's mezclilla? I think you need tacos denim. and something, you know? Tacos y... Like tacos and titties. And... Dude, like no. the Hooters of tacos? Yeah. yeah. Or like these tacos. You gotta tacos. think about franchises, how about, man. How about tacos and dumps? Like these tacos are these, yeah. shit. These tacos. Shit. Uh, tacos uh, y caca. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, titties as big as these tortillas. <laughs> Come on down. Get your beef. Uh, <laughs> oh, here it is on the right. That's it. Right Today's there. on the right. The original taco at Abby's? Yep. Yeah. This is going to be dope, man. Look at all those treats, too. The treats, they got the sauce buffet right nice. here. Kind of bar. And this is key right here. 
This Hell is a good yeah. Cash only. That's what you want. All right, so let's do it. Este jefe, este me da este una quesadilla y este un molote. Yo quiero, por favor, un taco árabe especial. ¿Con la salsa? Sí, por favor, con todo. Y el molote, el de papa, por favor. ¿Tienes Coca-Cola? Yeah. Sí. Una Coca-Cola, por favor. She started with the drink. Y... Uh, taco árabe. But I want the taco árabe, yeah. Yeah, taco árabe. ¿Taco árabe. especial con quesillo y aguacate? Sí, con todo. Okay, okay gracias. 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 And I'll show you the top. Is See? That is meat so when you look oh, at that, you're yeah. like, that's shawarma. Oh, yeah. Bro. ¿Cómo está, jefe? Bien, bien. Estos son mis amigos you comediantes, Hola, ¿cómo estás? Tom y Cristina. You got your meat glasses on. Yeah. 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 Sí, para que no le brinque la, el aceite a los ojos. Oh, el calor. Oh, el calor. Yeah. It's so soothing to watch that meat turn. Yeah. ¿Cuándo sabes que está listo para cortar? No, cuando ya está pasado. Así ahí. Ajá. Eso lo cortas más. Sí. Well, that's, I mean, that's how he knows what to cut. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That oh, hurts. No. That's good shit. Oh, so hot. Oh, what do you think? Uh, Beautiful. So good. Excellent. I think the food's ready. You guys want to chow down? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Gracias, Gabe. Gracias. Es una receta familiar. A mi hermano tiene más de 30 años vendiendo los tacos árabes en Puebla. Él hace el trompo, mi esposo lo corta y mi otro hijo es el que se encarga de hacer los tacos. Sí, le digo que los tacos árabes son de, o sea, es una copia de los de una colonia libanesa en, en Puebla y entonces por eso es que le llamaron tacos árabes. Y pues en realidad ellos no comen el puerco, lo, ellos lo hacen de borrego, pero el borrego es muy caro. No, no se vendería mucho como se vende con la por eso es que en Puebla la, hicieron, la empezaron a hacer de puerco. Being a taquero, you need to know that you're about to sacrifice most of your life. If you don't put your all, you're not going to make it here. Guys, second spot, we're about to dive in. This is a original taco, el árabe. They got cheese, avocado, the oh, shawarma, God. tortilla. We also got some molotes, which is like a Mexican calzone, if you will. And then we have the quesadilla, so dig in, guys. Let's do oh it. Oh my God, Let's I'm dying, it. man. I'm, I'm ready. This is heaven, by the way. This, this passion uh, fruit. Did you like this, oh the passion God. fruit? It's so good. I would drive down here just to drink this every day. It goes day. hard, right? Oh my God, let's eat. Is All right, Christina, shit, bro? tell me what you think. Mm. Yeah. 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 That makes you want to punch somebody. The tortilla is on point. The meat, it's all about the meat. What do you think about the cheese? It's like a little, like, I love it. Yeah. like it was string cheese and there's a kid back there just pulling it apart. <laughs> it's like, hey, no, no, we got to sell that, Little dude. baby hands, <laughs> little fingers. <laughs> <laughs> mm, this is great. Oh, man. And the shawarma pieces, right? Yes. It tastes like bacon almost, the meat. It's so... Right. Like those dick tips that you and like, the, those burnt dick tips. Uh, oh. Burnt ends. Burnt ends. Mm. Beef tips, I think they call them. Yeah, yeah they're beef, not dick tips. They're not dick tips. No. They're beef tips. <laughs> they're not interracial I mean, gang tips. <laughs> they're not wearing masks. <laughs> So a lot of people, Christina, did not one. know that Tom spoke Spanish. Oh, yeah. How long into the relationship did you oh, find God. out oh, that yeah. he uh, spoke Spanish? Probably when he took me home to meet his mom, and then the two of them were like, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, you really They didn't speak. understand anything. They're... Talking shit behind her and shit? Oh, mad <laughs> shit, sure. bro. <laughs> I was like, she's a dirty girl, mom. And my mom was like, yeah, I could tell. You know? Stop it. <laughs> dirty. I was going to ask you, so now you're touring in Spanish. What does that feel like? Are you starting all over again? I mean, it's uh, it's really actually the most exciting thing that I've done in stand-up, I feel like, in, in my whole career. Yeah. Because in English, not that you haven't figured it out, you're always trying to figure it out. But it just there's like kind of a rhythm that you get used to of doing it, and now doing it in Spanish. It's the kind of nerves, but like excitement that I felt when you're like two or three years in. Mm -hmm. Have Obviously, you seen him nervous before the shows kind of thing? The date that he was going to do his first Spanish hour, I think you were really nervous. I haven't yeah. seen him that nervous since like That's awesome. 2005. Yeah. Like he, it was like he was starting over and I had so much admiration for him to even do that. I mean, right. I can't even imagine. I also doing prepared a lot. What's the biggest difference you would say like from English to Spanish? You know, one of the challenging parts has been like dialect stuff because the Spanish I speak is mostly from South America, from Peru. You and speak it perfect. Well, I, I speak. Christina, if Harry Potter spoke Spanish, that's what he would sound like. What do you mean? I speak Spanish like if I was from Alabama, Mexico, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> real, <laughs> like, for real. He speaks it good, it's Castellano. <laughs> So 
I was gonna ask her, Christina. Yes. You know, you have your podcast, Where My Mom's At. You talk about like mom comedy, where my mom's at. Yes. Can you tell me what that means? <laughs> like for people that don't know what it is. I guess it is kind of a newer lane of stand up where now women are really talking about the ambivalence of motherhood and not just like, it's amazing, you know? Right. But I like to talk about the real stuff that no one really wants to admit to. Because I right. think that's the juicy, fun parts, the annoying parts. Because everything I see so far is too bullshit. It's like, we're just a couple of soccer moms, mom yeah, brain, like, and it's right. like, We drank what? wine at lunch, yeah. ooh. And what is this whole yeah. shit, like we're all alcoholics? Like that's the only joke right now is like, we're drinking wine, and that's fine if you dig it, but. This is an honest take on things, Yeah, you know? yeah, because I think social media, like, I think women especially are conditioned to be polite, compliant, and not complainy, and never say anything that's remotely unattractive. Right. Uh, so, you know, once you get out of the matrix as a woman, you're like, what? It's fun to explore that stuff. The landscape is a thousand times different. Nobody wanted to hear me talk 17 years ago. Now it's all the rage to hear a woman talk. Right. It's like, fucking great. For any comedian watching this, any piece of advice that you would have, you would yeah, have? Become an accountant. No, don't do don't it. Do don't, it. Do don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Why? Why don't do it? It's not going to work out, man. OK. <laughs> don't follow your dreams. Since two successful Whatever people that it's worked out so well for. It's like, uh, yeah, don't do it. You don't want just, this awesome life. No. Don't do it. No, man. It. I mean, the truth is, is that it is. It's an awesome ride. You know what I mean? It's not. It's like it's an awesome ride. but. I would say my best advice to a young comic is ask yourself if you're obsessed. Yeah. If you're not obsessed, you really shouldn't do it. If you are obsessed, just lean in, man. Yeah. Just go go for it, you know? It's a marathon. And I think what happened with like those those contest comedy shows and stuff is that it gave the illusion that there's a shortcut to stand up. There is no shortcut. It is a 10-year sentence minimum. People would fucking tell me, you're never gonna have the same career as a man. You're too pretty. You should be stupid or you should act dumber in your act. So like people were telling That's me tough. I ain't shit for 17 years. How you like me now, bitch? Hey man, thank you guys so much. Of course. You guys are great. You're the best. And thank you. Jeans. Jeans, man. Jeans, Jeans for life. All Jeans. the way up. Gracias, compadre. Hey. El perrito, el perrón. El perrito, el perrón. El perrito, el perrón. El perrón, el perrito. Perrito, perrón. El perrito sin frijolito. Y el perrón con frijol. <risa>